Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin on Tuesday the 26th of January. I'm Tom Scotney. Yesterday my colleague was talking about the breakdown in relations between workers and bosses at Jaguar Land Rover. Well just a day later JLR's Chief Executive David Smith has stood down from the role he's held for nearly two years. He'd been heavily involved in the negotiations with unions but JLR has insisted the two events aren't linked and the move from Mr Smith came as a surprise to many. It had been predicted by some sources many months ago, but he had given no reason to believe he'd be leaving the company in interviews he'd done recently. While it's been a difficult time for JLR and David Smith's time there, sales figures have started to improve recently, and Tata Motors, the Indian owner of the firm, has been keen to promote the vehicles abroad. Tata has said its Vice President Ravi Kant will be taking over the Chief Executive's job at the company temporarily. This has fueled speculation that Carl Peter Forster the former president of GM Europe, has been lined up for the job. Well, in other news, it's been announced today that the UK is officially out of recession, with the economy growing marginally in the last quarter of 2009. Britain's the last country in the G7 to get back to growth, but the improvement could take time to make a difference in the West Midlands, which has been one of the worst hit areas in the country. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. One, one, one.